Hello and welcome to TechPlot 360 EX. In the second video of the Transient series, we will cover techniques to reduce the data to be analyzed using various built-in extraction methods. This includes extracting points from a geometry line and probing over time. We already have our data loaded into TechPlot from the first video. For our first analysis step, we will extract a range of values using a user-defined line. To do this, we'll draw a polyline by selecting this button on the toolbar, then clicking at the point where we want the polyline to begin. By pressing V, it will be locked vertically, then double-click to end it. At this point, there are two methods of extraction. First, from the right-click context menu, you can extract a single time step. We won't be doing this in this video, as we want to see all of the time steps. This can be done by going into Data, Extract, Extract Geometry over time. Note that TechPlot has the capability to extract slices, isosurfaces, and stream traces over time, which are available for 2D and 3D. We will select a slightly lower value for number of points for this step to 50, then click OK. At this point, TechPlot is extracting the same polyline points for all time steps and will create new linear zones for each of these time steps. To investigate the data we just extracted, we can create a new frame. Tile the frames by going to Frame, Tile Frames, Tile Frames Horizontally, then fix the view of our top frame. In our bottom frame, we can change the plot type to 2D Cartesian so we can animate the extracted data over time. This data is typically looked at in XY line plots, however they don't have the same transient data capabilities as 2D plots do. We want to be able to link these two frames with time for a better visualization of our data. First, we'll turn off all of the field maps except for the extracted data by going into Zone Style. Notice how the extracted data has conveniently been saved in a single strand so it will show up as a single field map. We can then right click under Show Zone and click Show Selected Only. Then, we will make sure the variable of interest is on our axes by going into Plot. Assign x, y. We want our x axis to show y and our y axis to show pressure. Next, we need to turn on mesh in order to see our line. Axes also need to be set up properly with the right axis ranges and ensure they are independent. We'll do this by going into plot, axis. We'll change our axes to independent, then go into our bottom frame, press Ctrl F to view fit, then we'll go to Y and our change our range from negative 100 to negative 30. Before animating, we will ensure our two frames are linked in time by going into Frame, Frame Linking. We want to choose Solution Time, then apply settings to all frames of this group. We'll verify that this worked by clicking the top frame and notice that the checkbox is still checked. Then we can add a text element to show solution time by clicking this button in the toolbar, clicking where we want our text to show up. Then we can type solution time ampersand parentheses solution time. This will allow the current time step to show on the frame. More dynamic text keywords can be found in the quick reference guide. Then we'll click Accept. Finally, we can animate it using the Animate buttons on the sidebar. By animating the lines in addition to the top frame, we can see how the blades affect the resulting pressure distribution as they rotate around. Now that we've shown you how to extract data using a two-dimensional line, we will now show how to extract data at a single point over time. We need to delete our bottom frame by pressing Delete on the keyboard and OK. Then we can go to Tools, Probe to create time series plot. Once active, we will select a point on the plot as close to 0, 0 as possible. We see the current mouse coordinates here in the bottom right corner. Now that the probe is placed, TechPlot is again going through and loading data from all time steps, performing a standard probe and extracting the resulting data into a single line. This method also conveniently sets up a new frame like what we did in the previous steps in addition to setting up frame linking for a plot marker we'll see in a moment. Next we want to tile the frames horizontally.
Finally, when we animate by time, notice how both plots are animating with a black vertical bar indicating the current time step. We will investigate the properties of this resulting plot in the next video covering Fourier transforms. This concludes the second video in the Transient series. You can download a free trial of TechPot360EX on our website, and thank you for watching.